Hello world, welcome back to the Razer RC and super exciting times because there's a brand new four wheel drive 110 scale electric race buggy from Schumacher Racing, one of the oldest brands within the uh, racing world actually. And this is their latest release, the Cat L1R pure beast okay it is the update to the cat l1 evo which i also have um great to see them coming out with a brand new buggy quite a bit of changes actually within this uh vehicle so we're going to take a look at what comes inside special shout out to discountrcstore.com definitely check them out they've been a long time supporter of the channel pretty much the best uh place you can buy schumacher stuff within the u.s they've been a long time distributor they're carrying pretty much every part whether you like on road off road two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, uh, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, even if you just like Schumacher tires, you know, right? obviously if you do carpet racing, you know all about Schumacher tires, in my opinion, the best tires you can get. So check them out. They help support the channel and make things like this possible. So yeah, here's the box, Cat L1R performance and technology. Uh, a little bit of information here, as well as some option parts, a lot of alloy parts to tune your vehicle. This is set up a little bit more for, like, I would say, kind of an AstroTurf uh, style track. So a little bit loose traction, a little bit softer than you might run on carpet, but obviously it makes an excellent uh, carpet car as well. Here on the back, so there's a lot of information about all the changes. You can check everything out. Uh, I'm not going to go through it because that would take way too long, but a lot of updates in this vehicle. And the cool thing about Schumacher is they're making a huge push within the U.S. They are coming out with vehicles that are a little bit more U.S. focused, a little more stock spec focused, including the Cat L1R. Made it way lighter, option parts to make the drivetrain a little bit lighter, spin up a little more freely for those of you who like stock racing. And then they signed a bunch of new drivers, so Ryan Cavallari, a uh, longtime world champion, a uh, long time team associate and TLR driver is now running Schumacher stuff, so that's cool. Also, Lee Martin, I believe, long time Yokomo driver uh, out there in the UK, is also a new uh, driver sh for Schumacher. So they're getting super serious. They're coming out with some great stuff and carpet and, you know, AstroTurf, maybe not so much, but the artificial surfaces definitely picking up here in the US. So this is the brand new chassis, one of the major changes, uh, a little more. I guess curved, especially here in the back. The old one was kind of a rectangle, basically. A lot stiffer in the past. This has more flex. Um, fairly thin, it looks like, maybe two and a half millimeters, I would guess. A lot of pockets, a little more flex, a little more ground clearance here in the back. So a really nice update there, one of the big changes. Another big change, a new body. So this is a J Concepts body, as you can see there. Uh, a lot better looking, in my opinion. Very skinny, it's similar to like a B74 body, but a lot skinnier because the chassis is quite a bit thinner. So that's one of the cool things about uh, the new vehicle. Includes wheels, uh, which is really nice for a little drive, offset wheels. These are gonna be compatible with X-Ray wheels, uh, compatible with 22X4 wheels from TLR. I think it's also compatible with the new uh, Team Associate Plus one and a half four wheel drive uh, wheels for those of you that are familiar with that. Pretty much FMAR uh, style offset wheel. So uh, some other changes, they do include uh, two sway bars here in the front, a 1.8 and a 1.4 millimeter. Uh, here's a little front bumper. They do have these little brass inserts uh, that they use on like all the S2 pieces. Just kind of a Schumacher thing. Anything else we can see in here? Maybe we should just cut this thing open, see what's going on inside. Make life a little bit easier. And dump all that out. As you can see, this is just a live unboxing. So looks like different inserts, pills uh, for the rear toe and rear uh, kick up basically or anti-squat uh, little shims that you use kind of raise and lower that rear hinge pin brace Here's a hinge pin brace. They did widen a little bit. So give a little more uh, stability there in the rear I think a little bit less roll. We'll see. I believe that is my uh, understanding of what actually changes looks like hinge pin bracers a nice uh, sort of black uh, oxide finish Here's those little brass inserts like I mentioned uh, this looks like front shock tower protector. So one nice thing about the Schumachers, they do have protectors for your shock tires. That is required on many carpet tracks to you know, keep the tires from digging into the carpet and tearing it all up. These look like different inserts, not really sure what they are. Uh, probably uh, front toe or not really sure, maybe the front uh, width and stuff like that. 
updated rear hub so that is another change on this vehicle they do have inserts for the rear hub so you can kind of adjust the in out up down uh, left right aba or whatever thing uh, here's their uh, traditional uh, hinge pin braces or hinge pins themselves they are kind of this bronze thing they do have a flat spot so you do have to make sure you stick this in the correct way there is an orientation that kind of threw me off the first time i tried using a schumacher uh, hinge pin but that is different they also have these little inserts for those hubs so you can basically mount the ball studs in different positions the two different uh, front sway bars as you can see like i mentioned antenna tube if you still run that really short um, some uh, looks like double side tape as well uh, these guys looks like the servo mount uh, servo horn I will probably use an aluminum servo horn I do have a cat l1 evo so a lot of those parts will carry over uh, these are the front drive shafts I believe they shortened the front drive shaft and made the axles a little bit longer uh, these are the bearings I believe they're grease field someone correct me if I'm wrong aluminum hexes of course and I'm guessing the rear sway bar there uh, looks like probably a sway bar mounts uh, these little ball cups another nice bag here we're gonna pop this thing open as well let's try not to cut any of the inner bags so some changes a little more flex in the chassis so they're using plastic or composite uh, side guard rather than the super stiff s2s i did find my l1 evo to be way too stiff in the chassis department i was always looking for more flex so nice to see they modified that um, some other looks like hinge pin braces here uh, probably battery mounts there uh, so yeah they did change the battery location moved it up nine millimeters to get you a little more centralized weight i think that will make a big difference here are the turnbuckles and ball cups nothing too crazy there and then in this bag a lot of parts so it looks like we got the uh, diffs so they did update the discs make them a little bit more durable thicker shims uh, they do use o-rings on the disc that's one thing not a big fan of the uh, schumacher discs rather than a gasket or like a paper gasket or rubber gasket they do use these o-rings i guess they work they in my opinion can kind of leak a little bit but uh not a major deal looks like some maybe wire stays uh, probably inserts for the uh, front spindles here looks like the center transmission these transmissions are fairly complex I never fully understand how these actually work but uh, yeah the center transmission is kind of the heart of the beast it does have like a slipper there um, as well as a bunch of idlers and uh, looks like some spindles here as well so these are the center pieces I believe uh, some aluminum uh, shafts now used in the center a bunch of gears uh, all part of the transmission again part of the transmission additional gears so a lot of gears in this thing and of course the five millimeter belts you can also get four millimeter belts and this is a new aluminum top shaft to give you a little bit more uh, acceleration especially for uh, stock spec they do offer a, a lockout slipper if you prefer that i like using a little bit slipper because on carpet it is pretty aggressive and uh, hard on the belts otherwise cover for the uh middle transmission slipper spring uh, not sure which gear that is but those are additional parts there all right this looks like a fun one this looks like a lot of fancy uh, metal parts here let's take a look at what comes in this bag tons of bags here so it looks like uh, diff height adjustment so yes you can definitely raise and lower the diffs uh, for lower uh, ride heights that is definitely welcome something you want to uh, be able to tune with some screws looks like another hinge pin brace there uh, looks like front arms I don't know if the front arms actually have changed not totally sure um, but yeah also here are the basically the carriers out there in the front front drive shafts or rear I'm not sure which uh, so all the bearings are included kind of with that step that you go through so all the parts are pretty much in the bags uh, that you would use for that step which is one thing nice about the instructions a little bit easier to use this is the uh, Ackerman bar or basically steering rack I recognize that some ball steads include there all aluminum which is nice so pretty premium parts um, definitely a cut above some of the other brands out there here's your wing mount I don't think any changes there uh, looks like the bell cranks reverse bell cranks if I remember correctly super premium slipper here you can see it's drilled it's milled for um, 
basically channels to allow any debris or heat or whatever to escape, slip or spring. Um, pretty nice. It looks like a diff case here, front, top and bottom, or front and back or something like that. Uh, here are all the shock oils and diff oils. So it looks like 12K diff oil, thread lock, 400 CST and 550 CST. So uh, that's for your shocks, of course. All your fancy S2 and carbon fiber pieces. A lot of pieces in here. I think they did redesign the upper braces. So they've got basically like these top S2 or carbon fiber braces. Looks like carbon fiber nowadays. Um, so they're super stiff. I was always looking for a little more flex on my L1 Evo. So I think they introduced that uh, with this kit. And um, you know, that's definitely Kind of a tuning thing you want to do uh, to get your car to drive correctly another bag here with a bunch more parts kind of the last bag here take a look um looks like uh, shock shafts so the rear shock shafts are a little bit longer these look like the front shocks front springs i think they are blue blue springs and then here's another uh looks like looks like i'm thinking a diff seal there not 100% sure. It looks like a diff O-ring, uh, a diff part there itself, another diff uh, there front and rear, more springs. So they do have these two-piece aluminum and plastic uh, shock caps. Not a big fan of these, but uh, they do actually work pretty well. I gotta I got admit, even though the shocks don't look that great on paper, they actually work really well. Oh, these are the front shocks, the other ones. Where are the rears, out drives? part of the discs. Um, you do have to put those together yourself, of course. And uh, some more front shock shafts. So really short shock shafts overall. I love the uh, Schumacher wing. Best looking wing in my opinion. Trim that all the way down. Amazing uh, window stickers. And then they got uh, molded Although they look like Delrin uh, shock pistons, so they do come with a bunch of different sizes, so you don't have to drill them or whatever. You can just pick the sizes that you want. Here's another set for your uh, front and rear shocks, some stickers, Cat L1R. Everyone knows R means fast. Uh, looks like the shock internals, uh, spacers, and then the manual itself. So yeah, really nice manual. Um, a lot of tech, so you definitely will want to pay attention to the directions because there's a lot of information, arrows, exclamation marks. Uh, there's a lot of little tips that you may not notice at first glance. Paper is really nice. I think they upgraded the paper. This is a nice glossy paper. Um, usually in the middle you got the full diagram of all the parts, all the parts numbers, so you can look that up directly, including all the optional parts, springs, uh, front and rear wheel nuts. You know, a bunch of alloy parts, optional parts. Um, and then here in the back, you got all the spares. Uh, and then here's a nice little picture of all the option parts. So they do have some new option parts for this. Uh, six degree uh, front yokes. Uh, I think 10 is stock out of the box. You can go down to eight or even six if you're more on carpet. Carbon fiber chassis for, you know, you stock guys. Carbon fiber shock mounts as well. Brass uh, weights uh, for your electronics. If you want to add a more weight down low, best place to put it. Uh, alloy center pieces and stuff. So pretty nice. Even the alloy carriers front and rear uh, as well as this thing they call the rear only slipper system or Ross so that's pretty nice tell you how to make adjustments to your car what they actually do how they impact the way it drives uh, even lipo position there gear ratio so you can pick uh, the right pinion gear for your vehicle I think it still uses a long pinion gear uh, not a standard pinion gear I'm not totally sure we'll have to see um, but the L1 Evo definitely used a, a different style pinion gear than uh, other vehicles out there so setup sheets uh, looks like kit build looks like a carpet setup so that's really nice i will probably start with that because i run carpet at my local track and then a blank one for your own personal setup so yeah that's pretty much it the schumacher cat l1r uh, super <laughs> exciting vehicle i know belt drive is not for everyone but i personally think belt drive is one of the most amazing uh 
styles of drivetrains, I guess, out there. I think it's a lot of fun. Not a lot of belt drive vehicles, but this is kind of the last one. It is the best, and for, especially for AstroTurf or carpet or even, you know, dirt mod stuff, I think this is definitely one to look at. I'm a big fan of Schumacher parts and vehicles, and so, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, throw down comments in the description or the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Are you thinking about getting one of these? Um, I do have lots of other four-wheel drive vehicles, so I'm curious how this thing drives. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.